Hey everyone, this is Alex with Zilker Bark and I'm back with HUB giving you some tips and tricks for how to take great outdoor photos of your dog this holiday season. And we've got our dog model Polly here working with us again and she's gonna show us how that we can use a smartphone to create some really solid images of our pets. So in our past few videos, we've gone over the tools necessary for the job. And today we're not going to be working with our large toys. We're gonna to be working with just a squeaker and some treats because those are the things that Polly responds best to. I get a lot of questions about what the best camera is for dog photography. And to be 100% honest with you, the best camera is the one that you have. One of the greatest things about having a smartphone is its versatility. You can put this thing in your pocket and it's ready to go at a moment's notice. What we're gonna be doing right now is showing how to get some really nice action shots with Polly and just a phone. So you get her excited about that treat, stick it in her nose, you can tell she's very eager about this snack. And what you wanna do is you wanna get down on the dog's level because by getting down on a dog's level, you see it from a different perspective than you typically do. As people, we're normally looking at our dogs like this and to get down here on their level, it really enhances the way the dog looks. So I'm gonna show you how we're just gonna get a few photos. I'm gonna backpedal and we're gonna snap some pics of Polly. Come here, Paul, come on. And one of the simplest ways to enhance your pet photography is to capture your dog at the most flattering angle. And I know what you're thinking, every angle of my dog is flattering. Well, I can tell you right now that this one is slightly more flattering than others. So if you're taking a photo of your dog straight on like this, you really start to lose some of the best features of your dog because you're only getting their head. So what I like to do is rotate with the dog and get them at this angle. They show so much more of their body and you get this nice leading line of their back that leads right into their face. So the last tip I have for you is to pay attention to your environment and make sure that the background of your image is suitable for a great photo. Now, as you can see behind me, we have a parking lot full of cars, full of busyness. That's not gonna make for the best pet portrait. And over here, you'll see that the light is just way too intense. But in this area over here, we've got beautiful trees, we've got even lighting, and we've got a great opportunity to get a great photo of our pet. So we're gonna get Polly sat, and we're gonna show you what that looks like. Stay, ready? Here you go, Paul. Good girl. And just like that, great light is found and a great photo is made. Next time you're outside with your pet and you have your cell phone handy, put these skills to use and grab some great photos of your pet. Stay tuned, we've got plenty more for you. Like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.